Hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to talk a little bit and uh, just basically talk about why my die-off symptoms feel so insane to me. And it basically has to do with the fact that I've gotten concussions and the fact that there are now basically inflammation pathways in and the gates have been opened to specific parts of my brain. And especially with the last concussion, I hit the back of my head, which is has a lot to do with your vision as well as like your cerebellum and and the functional neurologist that I've seen or I've been seeing like clearly like when he does um like when you do eye movements, when you move your eyes in certain ways, it activates or engages certain parts of your brain. And it's been like super researched and confirmed. Um, but like he can see that certain parts of my brain are just wacky. So just for confirmation of that, but like when I have any type of inflammation that is going on, systemically in my body it it gets in to the places where i've had injuries and so it's like it's basically this model that is being followed throughout my whole body and basically that is that this gateway or this passage or this this occurrence of an injury has opened up this like pathway of inflammation. And so now that those gates are opened, like any type of inflammation goes to those places a lot more than what they what it would usually do. And so for me, like when I get die off symptoms, my back of my head feels really heavy and it literally feels kind of like there's a bunch of pressure back here. And it feels like my head is like it's hard, like it's hard to hold my head up. But and also like my vision, I've said it before, it gets very narrow, and my vision feel it feels like I'm like freaking out, kind of like my vision just I don't know how to describe it. It's like it's so narrow, and things pop up out of like out of my field of vision, things seem like they pop up out of nowhere. And this is from the die off inflammation. And so, yeah, it's, it's just so complex. And if I didn't have these concussions, and I was doing the same things that I'm doing right now in terms of detoxing and, and removing the bad bacteria that is overgrown in my body and just doing all these things i don't i don't think i would have nearly as severe of reactions as i do because a lot of things that happen are like going like the symptoms i feel are in the areas that are the places that are affected by the last concussion that i got and so now that there are these areas this area in my brain got injured and that area in my brain affects areas in my body including my limbs my my arms and my legs my sense my percept like my my sensory experience of those things and as well as my vision and my like coordination and my spatial awareness and that sort of thing so like every time any inflammation gets into my brain in that part I get we I get weird symptoms in though in that realm of experience how do I like I get those I get symptoms in the areas in which that brain part controls or that brain region controls but they're different depending on what type of chemical is causing the inflammation like if I have die-off inflammation then it causes certain symptoms uh, and in those same areas but if I have regular inflammation, like if I just if I just ate a bunch of like potatoes and didn't take any probiotics or anything and just super fed 
the overgrown bacteria, I would get a different type of inflammation and different types of symptoms, but in the same area, like in the same brain region, is like the same region in my brain is being effective or affected, but it's being affected by a different chemical thing. Cause like when you feed the thing, it creates certain toxins when you feed the bad stuff, but then when you kill it off, it also creates bad stuff, but it can create different and just a lot like more severe bad stuff actually. But yeah, so this is like, this is why my die-off symptoms feel so insane to me is because I just, my brain in certain spots has been opened up to inflammation. And like there's no, I mean, there I've, like when you start to research about post-concussion syndrome and you see about the blood-brain barrier and like my blood-brain barrier has to for sure be just opened up or else this, this inflammation wouldn't be getting into my brain. But it's like, I've been wondering, is like, is there a way I could seal that blood brain barrier so that this inflammation from my body doesn't get into my brain? And there's different things that have come up. And so I'm still, that comes up in my mind sometimes. But yeah, until like the thing is, because of the concussions and because like the the injuries, any injury I've had, it's the same thing. Like I have, I injured my hip flexor down below and my shoulder has been kind of messed up because I just played so many sports. And so there's all these different injuries and they don't go away and any type of inflammation affects that area. So it's like either like to be 100% healed I will need to totally eradicate the overgrowth of all that bad bacteria and have perfectly good numbers of good bacteria and be not experience like not have a not have die off experiences or symptoms from taking things and like so it's just basically like it just seems so it seems very unrealistic that I will ever have no symptoms. Although, like logically, it makes sense that I could. Like if I totally heal my gut, then it would make sense that if I took die off, if I took antimicrobials that I wouldn't really have die off. And, and that if I ate whatever I wanted to, I wouldn't be feeding any inflammation because I would already have the good bacteria there and no bad bacteria that would be fermenting it and causing inflammation inflammation and that type of those metabolic chemicals that cause inflammation wouldn't be coming because there wouldn't be that bad bacteria overgrowth. There'd be mostly good bacteria, which would, when they ferment the foods, they create good things that make you feel better and don't create inflammation. So it's like, theoretically, it, it makes it makes sense that I could be 100% symptom free, but it's just like, we come into contact with things and different bacteria and all this stuff so often that it's like, there's no way that, or it just, it just makes sense to me that throughout, throughout my whole life, I'll probably have to like have periodic cleanses where I detox and just like to maintain, um, or else, I don't know, it's just hard to picture me being 100% symptom free for my whole life. Uh, but theoretically, it makes sense that it could be possible. So yeah, I just wanted to talk and bring this up because my die off symptoms feel so insane and it's because of my concussions. And so just, Heal your gut, work on your gut. Try not to hit your head. Sometimes you just hit your head and you didn't even mean to and it happens out of nowhere. So that's how I hit my head this last time. I bumped it on the floor being goofy with my friends acting like I was possessed because <laughs> we do weird things. And then it just changed my life forever. 
and I don't know if I'll ever be back to where I was. But yeah, don't be turned off of doing cleansing and detoxing. Like I believe that I will make tons of progress on my gut and like I've seen it in the stool test. There's stuff, there's imbalance and it is 100% possible to rebalance. So I'm just gonna keep, keep that in mind and as I go through these die-off experiences and die-off symptoms, I'll just try to stay the course and walk the tightrope of not trying to overburden my body, but realizing that I, I need to get this stuff out and I'm probably gonna experience die-off. And that's just a part of it. And as long as it's not so bad to where I can't handle it, or my body is can't handle it, then I'm just gonna keep going. I'm not gonna, like if it's too bad, then obviously I'll take a break and recover. That's what I always do, but yeah. So I just wanna make this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, may we all heal and get done the things we need and want to get done within our health and our lives. And peace.